Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Intan Ayu Nitias I'm from Tier 2 2020 of English Education Study Program at IKIP Siliwangi So today I want to share with you the material that I have learned uh, in the 7 meeting of pronunciation, pronunciation practice before midterm test So in the first meeting we have done an introduction with our lecture and of course with our classmates and after that we discuss about rancangan pembelajaran uh, semester or semester learning plan which contain a list of material uh, we used to be studied and then uh, after that which contain a list of materials to be studied, assessment point of each material to be studied, and of course, uh, unexpected outcomes from students on learning in each material. In the second meeting, we, did, we have done an introduction to our subject, uh, pronunciation practice. In the second meeting, we discuss about the definition of pronunciation practice. Uh, so what is pronunciation practice? Pronunciation is the act or result of producing the sound of speech, including articulation, intonation, and stress. Articulation is the way in which you pronounce words or produ produce sounds. Sounds categorization consists of manner of articulation and part of articulation and place of articulation after articulation we discuss about stress stress is the way that a word syllable is pronounced is pronounced with greater force than other words in the same sentence or other syllable in the same word the third point is intonation Intonation is the sound change produced by the rise, by the rise or fall of the voice when speaking, especially when this has an effect on the meaning of what is said. After we discuss about pronunciation, articulation, stress, and intonation, we also discuss or talk about phonetics and phonology. What is phonetics and phonology? Phonetics is the study of speech sounds. In phonetics, there are articulatory phonetics, phonemes phonetics, and auditory phonetics. I mean, in phonetics, there are articulatory phonetics, acoustic phonetics, and auditory phonetics. When phonology is the study of the sound pattern in languages. In phonology, there are phonemes including vowels and consonant, and also prosody, which can which are consist by stress, rhythm, and intonation. And the last point in this meeting is about international phonetics alphabet or IPA. Let's move to another meeting. In the third meeting, we discuss about speech sound, speech organs, and its function. Uh, in this meeting, we discuss or we talk about features of pronunciation. Features of pronunciation consist of phonemes and supersegmental features. When phonemes including consonant, both voice and unvoice, and also vowels, short vowels, long vowels and diphthongs what are what are they i will tell you about that later and super segmental features super segmental features are consist of intonation and stress both word stress and sentence stress and we're gonna move to the fourth meeting in the fourth meeting, we discuss about speech organ practice. So, 
uh, usually after we discuss about some material we have uh, we have done a practice we will done a practice and after we learn or discuss about speech organ we do the speech organ practice uh, in this in this meeting uh, before we practice we have discussed about speech organs such as upper lip lower lip upper teeth lower teeth tongue nasal cavity alveolar ridge heart palate soft palate uh, uvula pharynx glottis and larynx In this material, we also discuss about consonant. Consonant has eight places of articulation, such as labial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, palatoalveolar, palatal, velar, and glottal. And for your information, in English, they uh, in English language use 48 sounds which consists which are consist by 24 consonant and 24 vowels including 12 pure vowels 10 diphthongs and 2 triptongs and after we discussed about the material in formatting we had a class we had a task and the task is about to mention some words that uh, we still have mispronounced about it and the correct pronunciation of it and the second task is to give an example of part of articulation so after fourth meeting we had a fifth meeting in the fifth meeting, we talk or we discuss about vowels, diphthongs, and triptongs. So here we go to talk about what is vowel, diphthong, and triptong. First point, we will talk about vowels. So there are 24 vowels in English, including 12 uh, pure vowels, 10 diphthongs, and 2 triptongs. So vowels is an uninterrupted voice sounds. The example for uh, the in vowels there are long vowels and short vowels listen carefully so you will understand what is long vowels and what is short vowels the example for long vowels are tree food are four and girl And the example for short vowels are sit, pull, duck, stop, cinema, and run. You got it? Okay. Now, diphthong. What is diphthong? Diphthong is a blend of two pure vowels sounded together as one. So there are centering diphthongs and closing diphthongs. The example for centering diphthongs like clearing, sure, and there. The example for closing diphthongs are boy, there, and go, and now. And the last point is triptong. What is triptong? Same as diphthong, but it's three. So triptong is three words sounds blend. Three word, three vowels sounds. Sorry, I mean triptong is three vowel sounds blended together as one. The example: fire, retire, hour, and tower. I hope you got it. Okay, we're gonna move to the next meeting. Next meeting is sixth meeting. In sixth meeting, we do the practice again about vowels. So, sixth meeting is practice vowel. In this meeting, we just do some practice in vowels, but with some fun, with some fun game. Uh, in the first practice, we practice vowels with 
a crossword puzzle game. And the second task, we practice vowel with guess the words that said by the lecture. Okay, and in the second meeting, the last meeting before we meet term test, we discuss about consonant. In consonant, we have a material about position that can be used to practice vocal folds. Vocal folds in bahasa is pita suara. So in a, uh, so there are some position that can be used to practice vocal folds, such as wide apart, narrow glottis, position for vocal fold vibration, and vocal folds tightly closed. After that, we have a material about plosive. What is plosive? So plosive is a consonant articulation, which is one of its characteristic is one articulator is moved against another. Okay, next point or next material is in English, they has six plosive consonants. They are P, T, K, B, D, and G and have different place of articulation. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. After that, we, uh, sorry, I mean, we, the next material is for this and learnings. For this means strong, the voiceless plosives like P, T, and K, and learnings means weak, the voice, the voice, D, and G. After that, we, have a material again about place of articulation. Now, for place of articulation, same as the explanation before, like labial, dental, alveolar, and the others. And the last point in the last meeting is about manner of articulation. They are stop, fricative, nasal, abricative, approximate, and literal. So that's all the material. The seven material before we do the midterm test. So I hope it's helpful for you. Thanks for watching and wish me luck for wish me luck for my bedroom test score. Okay, thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.